Hello, my name is Brian Germain, and uh, I am a professional skydiver and author and fear specialist. Um, I've been jumping out of airplanes for uh, approximately 30 years, and I've got uh, somewhere around 15,000 jumps. Uh, and in all these uh, skydiving experiences and other adventure experiences, I've come to realize that, that what kept, keeps me safe is knowing what I'm doing and keeping control of my emotional experience. Uh, and as one uh, might guess, uh, dealing with adrenaline is, uh, is a big part of being an adventurer. And, and many of you are adventure enthusiasts, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, knowing what you're doing and having clear intentions, having a good plan, is only part of the, the puzzle. And another big piece of the puzzle is to, to learn how to calm down the breathing, calm down the mind, focus the mind, uh, in, in these moments where we become frazzled, where we become uh, sort of panicky and worried, uh, and, and to be the ability to discern, to separate uh, sane fear from neurotic fear uh, is a, a big piece of the puzzle. And so um, I write books and articles and, and have uh, a radio show and all these other things uh, with the intention of helping the world to, to sort of enliven the conversation about fear uh, and what we can do about it. Uh, and of course, before we even get to this, uh, this deeper question of what we can do about fear and how we, we can become more skilled in the art of bravery, uh, we have to, to look a little bit deeper into the question of why is it it's so important to deal with fear. And so this is uh, something I think we all need to to take a closer look at is what is fear, what does it do to you, uh, and what is it costing you? Uh, is it actually keeping you safe, or is it just a red light that says, here's some danger, you better pay attention, and uh, what actually keeps you safe is calming down, clarifying your intentions, figuring out the lay of the land and what's actually occurring. Um, and so um, I, I think that as, as my book, uh, Transcending Fear, and, and my other my videos that are on YouTube are getting out to all parts of the world, uh, I think it's really exciting that I get uh, so many people that engage me in conversations through, through email and through Skype and, and through uh, all the world travel uh, that I do. Uh, I'm not the only one <laughs> that has discovered that, that humanity is, is caught up in fear. Not everybody, but a lot of people. And there's good reason uh, for fear. But the process of calming down and opening up the mind and opening up the heart, right, the compassion center, is, is what's going to get us through this, this phase of uncertainty, this phase of, of overpopulation, of, of uh, resource management problems that need to be solved. Uh, the, the shutting down of the heart and the shutting down of the mind is a, uh, an inevitable consequence of high level, levels of adrenaline. Uh, and of course, the body shuts down too. We don't live as long and we don't live as well while we are alive. And so dealing with stress, dealing with adrenaline is something that everybody needs to deal with because if you want to make your dreams come true, dealing with your adrenaline is going to be a big piece of that puzzle. So this is what I do. And, uh, and I hope that you join me uh, in this journey into fear and beyond.